Ahoy mates! Jeff McKay, owner and master hatter of Captain Jack's Pirate Hats here, and I wanted to welcome you to the reopening of Captain Jack's Pirate Hats in a brand new location, where we've streamlined our studio and our process, and it's our hope that once we've got caught up on our backlog of orders, we'll be able to shorten the production time and turn out your handcrafted Pirate Hats even quicker. We're starting a video tour of Captain Jack so that you get an idea of what really goes into having a pirate hat handcrafted by a master milliner. Now there are two things that contribute to Captain Jack's success. Brand recognition and customer loyalty. There's a reason why Captain Jack's has been called the Ralph Lauren of pirate haberdashery. We've built our reputation by producing the highest quality product available in pirate headwear. This is done by using the finest materials available, presenting an unsurpassed number of options for creating truly unique and custom hats for each and every one of our customers, and the experience, skill, and attention to detail of the hatter making the hats. Now, during this web series, we're going to look at each of those in turn. At Captain Jack's, you won't find pirate hats here that are made from lesser quality felt blanks like you'll find in souvenir shops in Florida costume hat sources, and some other hatters on the internet. We use only the highest quality materials, and we don't start with a machine-shaped hat blank like this one, for example, that we had to order in from one of our competitors for uh, purposes of comparison. We start with a piece of unshaped, unstiffened material, be that wool felt, or cashmere, or straw, or seagrass, which I then hand shape using wooden hat blocks made by a master block maker. There are various shapes of hat blocks in order to achieve specific styles of hats. Tall, short, round, square, and all in different sizes. So it, it can get a little confusing. I wanted to point out though that these are not hat blocks. These are adjustable hat stretchers to change or resize the circumference of the crown of a hat or to re-stiffen the crown edge at a specific size. This one is a two-directional stretcher which stretches the length. Better yet, this one is a four-directional stretcher that will stretch both the width and the length of the crown. These stretchers are not meant to shape the overall hat. Now let's look at our own hat blocks. This is our hat block rack. Captain Jack's hat blocks are a two-piece set. It consists of a crown block in a specific size circumference, such as this. It's a 23-inch hat block. And a brim block, which is also a specific size circumference. Again, this is a 23. These go together to form an overall hat block. Next time on Captain Jack's Pirate Hats, we'll talk about blocking or stretching the felt. So please subscribe, like, and share.